Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video might be seen and shared. Celine Driver once again bringing you another unboxing and review of a watch that is not mine. Uh, recently, a gentleman named Liam from MMI uh, Watches, these guys right here, uh, reached out to me as a uh, YouTuber of a um, admittedly small but hopefully growing uh, YouTube channel and asked me if I wanted to do a review uh, and video of uh, their new uh, Sky Hunter uh, watch. And I, of course, said yes because uh, I've uh, seen MMI watches in the past. I know other of my fellow YouTubers uh, like this watch uh, brand, watch brand. And I was uh, enthusiastic uh, to uh, see the watch, get to play with it for a, a bit, get some content for the channel and help out a, uh, a micro brand. So a few days later, um, this watch showed up uh, in this uh, case, which is, um, I'm told, not the case that the watch will come in when it, it goes into production. Now this watch is uh, a prototype. This is a pre-order uh, watch called the Sky Hunter. And the um, estimated delivery, you can pre-order this watch now. I'll leave a link uh, to their site in the description. You can pre-order these watches now. They are purported to be an estimate delivery uh, in the April-May 2023 timeframe. Uh, this is going to be a limited quantity watch. Um, 150 pieces uh, overall are planned. Now, I was told by Liam that uh, plans can change. They may adjust quantities uh, up or, you know, uh, different quantities across the colorways depending on demand. Uh, this is the black one, obviously. There will be also a silver uh, dial, a champagne dial, a blue dial, and a white dial. Um, the difference between the uh, pre-production watch you see here and the, uh, pro uh, well, the prototype, they call it, and the production, uh, well, there is no difference. <laughs> This is uh, pretty much the final form. I was told that the blue watch that's pictured on the website, the blue will be a lighter shade of blue than is pictured on the website. The production watch will not, as I said before, be this uh, case, uh, but will be a, a leather or leather-like watch roll which I saw a picture of, but unfortunately I didn't retain uh, operator error, uh, which looks like a very nice uh, watch roll that could also double as a, a travel roll if you want it to be. The, um, and yes, I know the crown is unscrewed. I'll screw it back in so you can see that. It's a very simple three-hand I would call this a field style watch. Um, the date track is inboard and rotates counterclockwise. So it rotates in this direction while the watch, of course, rotates in the clockwise direction. So that's kind of a nice um, little innovation there. I thought that was uh, very interesting, although it did take a few seconds to get used to when I uh, when I got the bo uh, watch out of the box. It's very nice polish uh, finish uh, with uh, elements of more satinized. It has a sign crown. 
and it has the image of a um, Hawker Hunter, which is the inspiration for this watch. Now, the Hawker Hunter is a plane, a, a British fighter, that was used by Singapore from roughly about 1970 until 1992 for uh, air defense uh, by the uh, by the city state of Singapore. That's why they call this the Sky Hunter. And it's a very well done, very detailed engraving, I must say. The uh, clasp is is a signed clasp. It's a standard dive style uh, double lock clasp. You unfold the little um, pivot uh, hinged. Um, fold over there two buttons open it up it's a very nice thick good quality milled clasp closes very assuredly five micro adjust points the bracelet uses uh, friction pins you can see the directional arrows uh, on the uh, removable links that give it away so you will need a block and punch to size the watch uh, it's rather, they're, they're fairly easy to work with, so it's not really a hindrance to folks like myself who like the ability to uh, size their own watches. It was very easy to do with the proper tools. There's a wrist shot on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. You can see that it fits very nicely. Um... I'd say this watch would probably fit on someone with as low as a six and a half inch wrist, maybe even six and a quarter. The lug to lug uh, measurement, which I'll get to all that in a minute. The lug to lug measurement isn't that big. Uh, so the watch does fit a good variety of wrists. Uh, I sized the watch for my wrist. I had to remove uh, three links out of the watch and then a little bit of work on the micro adjust. Uh, into the uh, second position and it fits just fine. Of course, being a conventional spring bar micro adjust, you will need a, uh, a, a strap tool to uh, to move that around. The, it is a screw down crown. It does disengage with a, 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 a pop that you can feel. You can't really hear it. The movement is hackable, as you can see. I mean, we're not reinventing the wheel here with respect to this watch, but it does all the things you expect to do very nicely. The bracelet integrates very nicely. It is a male end link, so it does extend the lug to lug or, or the, the overall width just a little bit, but it does integrate very nicely. And as you can see, the strap, the, uh, the strap, the, the bracelet does drop straight down from the watch, so it will hug your wrist very nicely. And yes, I know this side of the bracelet should be up here and vice versa. That's how the watch came to me. It does not have quick release spring bars, so I really didn't want to mess with it. After all, it's not my watch. I don't want to, I don't want to scratch it. Uh, let's see, what can we tell you about this? Well, you can tell you about the overall dimensions of the watch. If I can organize my notes here, you can see my sheet of facts here. It is a 38 millimeter diameter case. Now, these are all measurements that come off of their website. 38 millimeter diameter, 45 and a half millimeter on the tip to tip. 20 millimeter lug, 10.6 millimeter thick, 100 meter water resistance. So this is a swimmable watch. It can get wet, you can get caught in a rainstorm, you get you can take it for a swim. You might even be able to snorkel with it. And even a shallow dive, although it's not a dive watch, it doesn't have the dive bezel, so it's not going to give you that utility. But then again, Modern scuba divers are using dive computers anyway, so really the dive watch uh, in the in the modern era is sort of uh, 
uh, a style more than an actual tool. Unless, of course, you're an old, old school scuba diver who doesn't trust all the electronic gibbons out there and you prefer something that you can turn the bezel. Everything you see is 316L stainless. The, the, the case, the bracelet, and the, and the uh, clasp. Everything underneath there is powered by the venerable and tank tough Miyota 9015 movement. Hand winds, hacks, does all the good stuff. You'll have a flat sapphire crystal and a nice stepped up bezel. So this will fit underneath a long sleeve. I'll show you. It's a little cold today in Florida, so I am wearing long sleeves. As you can see, it just fits right there underneath. The sleeve goes over, pulls back. No, uh, no interference problems. It's really good value for money. Now, as the, um, the, the, the pricing on this varies by when you order the watch. Right now, they're, they, you know, the, the, if you look at the prices, it, it will say from this date to this date, it's this price. And then from this date to this date, it's a higher price, a little bit higher, maybe a few bucks here and there. Um, so check the website. Uh, price on this, as I'm shooting this video, is about $328 US. Uh, that price is slated to go up, I believe, at the beginning of 2023. So I'm going to try and release this video in 2022. So, uh, you know, if this is something you're interested in, I would definitely head on over to the website. The link is in the description and uh, get the pre-order in. And as I said, they're planning on doing a April or May 2023 uh, release of the watch to the, uh, the pre-order folks. I think this is a very nice watch. I've been wearing this watch for uh, uh, two or three days now as I make this video. And I, I don't know when MMI is going to want the watch back. But while I have it, I'm going to wear it. It's very comfortable. It wears a little bigger than the 38 millimeter uh, case diameter uh, dictates. Uh, so it's very comfortable on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. I prefer a bigger watch than 38 millimeter, but the case diameter isn't the whole story. There's also the uh, tip to tip or lug to lug measurement, however you want to describe it, uh, does factor in. And as I said, it's a very comfortable watch. It doesn't weigh a lot. It fits very nicely. And I think it's a winner. I think I know MMI is, is not new to the game. Uh, they've had successful releases of other watches before this one. And I think this one is also going to be a success. I hope for the sake of folks that might be watching this video and want to order one, that they decide to make more than 150 watches because I think that might be a little bit low. But then again, that's why I'm not in the business of micro brand watchmaking. I don't know what the market can take or not take. So if you're interested in this watch, I would definitely move uh, to their website and get your order in. And with that, I'm going to thank Liam over at uh, MMI for entrusting me with this prototype and entrusting me to make a video. Uh, this is not sponsored. He did not compensate me in any way. I have to give the watch back. He didn't pay me. Uh, there was no promise of payment. There was no promise of a discount or anything like that. So he just simply provided me the watch and said, tell us what you think. And I'm telling you what I think. I think this watch is a good buy, especially at the price they're asking for. So with that, I will uh, say uh, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, uh, found it to be informative, interesting, entertaining, please click that thumbs up button for me. 
comments, questions, suggestions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. However, if you are going to troll me, or try to anyway, or you're going to leave links to bad places on the uh, internet, I'm simply going to delete the comment and block the commenter. If you're new to the channel, of course, uh, I do welcome you. I'm glad you're here. Please feel free to watch as many videos as you like. All I ask in return, and I ask for very little, is click that red subscribe button at the bottom there. And when you do, uh, don't forget to click the bell icon so that when I upload uh, new videos or I do live streams, you can be alerted to these things. And in conclusion, as I always say at the end of my videos, it is a crazy old world out there. It is not getting any less crazy. So please, when you're out and about, or even when you're at home, be safe, be careful, be well, see you soon.